the Los Angeles Chargers are next on the block. Seven and a half wins. They needed quarterback, linebacker, and offensive line help. Um, <laughs> Matt said, by the way, I can make gender jokes. I have one at home. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Got them kids. That's it. At that point, you can make fun of anything. All right. Quarterback, linebacker, and offensive line help. Um, and they, they tackled all of it, basically. Uh, especially early. They didn't get an offensive lineman. No, not not that. But they did get uh, they did get linebacker help with uh, with Kenneth Murray in the second. Well, no, that was in the first as well. They traded up for that one. Uh, but they got Justin Herbert. I don't know that I necessarily agree. He does have all of the uh, the measurables, right? He like he looks like the big prototypical quarterback. I mean, we'll just see, right? Uh, Kenneth Murray, linebacker out of Oklahoma, with that second first round pick. And then they didn't pick again until the fourth round. They got running back Joshua Kelly out of UCLA, who was really impressive at times at UCLA. But, man, that was a that was a crap team. That was just not good. They got wide receiver Joe Reed out of Virginia in the fifth round, safety Alohi Gilman out of Notre Dame, and then wide receiver K.J. Hill was a seventh-round pick out of Ohio State. K.J. was pretty good. I, I thought K.J. was all right. Um, I will I, – I don't – I don't know what to make of this draft. How, how do you feel about this? Out of 32 teams, this is my worst draft. It, your worst? My worst. They did really? worse than everybody. In my opinion, they did worse than everybody. My buddy from San Diego, massive Charger fan, is probably going to whoop my ass for this. He's not going to be happy. Cameron, That's, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I, I thought K.J. Hill was a – I mean, it definitely – you know, it's not okay. just a flyer. I think right. he's really good. So you took a you I, took a seventh round flyer on a wide receiver that played at Ohio State. That's fine. You've got wide receivers. And I thought okay. Kenneth Murray at linebacker, like obviously it was a I hold. Just, I disagree. Fill. I just you reach for him. He wasn't the best linebacker there. wasn't the best linebacker on the board. I don't know that he was the. I don't know. I, I think he. Him. I think he was the best linebacker on the board at that point. Like I, I'm, no I'm telling you, there's no way. No, he was not better than Patrick Queen. He just wasn't. That's not an LSU homer pick, dude. He just wasn't. Who yeah. did he stop all year? Make a big play that he made in the Big 12 all year. It wasn't against I, Baylor's slow-ass defense offense. No, you got a valid point What against there. Texas. But it, he did He did help flip around their defense. I mean, their defense was was a lot better last season. Now, a lot of that had to do with, uh, with the new defensive coordinator. You know, they brought in Alex Grinch. Like, he, I just... I, I, did, I don't want the leader of that defense on my team leading my defense now. I don't want that. Okay. I mean, I understand. Like, I, I, I'll say this. I, you know, who did we have that was neutral the other day? I don't know. Like, I don't I don't hate this draft. I don't. Justin Herbert's the only pick that I like, and that is about as neutral as I can be. I It's okay. Yeah. All the rest of them I could care less about, and I thought they moved up and they didn't take the best guy on the board. I don't even know that they took a top three guy on the board at that position. Man, as you're a lot, you're a lot more harsh on uh, on Kenneth Murray than I am. I thought yeah, I thought he I was like be good. he was the star of that Oklahoma defense, which ain't saying a bunch. But okay, that was a shitty know. defense. It's one of the worst defenses in all the 130 college football teams. That's and and yet they ranked as a as a top thirty or t- hell I think it was a top twenty five defense. That's a bullshit, but that's a bullshit ranking, and you know it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Michael, LSU had a really good offense. LSU could have legitimately scored a hundred points on them if they oh, wanted. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're you're right. You're right. Uh, Michael had to head out, but he told us all to have a good weekend. Obviously, we appreciate that. He he got in in time for his Broncos, and that's what we were worried about. Uh, McKinnon said, outside of the first round, I think uh, the Chargers kind of dropped off. They'd be good to sign Cam Newton, too, if they want to be actual contenders for anything this season. Herbert has plenty of potential, but he's just not ready. I think that's my biggest thing here is I, I am going to have to see it with Justin Herbert. I don't remember a single game at Oregon that he played where he was the biggest factor on the field. Like, I just, I don't I don't remember that ever happening. Like, I, obviously, there was all this talk about him, and yeah, he's 6'6", six, six and 230-some-odd pounds, and he can throw the ball like a rocket, but man, like, he he had so many passes that were his fault that they that they were incomplete. And... Now, I'll tell you this. He's going to a wide receiving core that can that can play, okay? Yeah, but if he, he's if he misses them... He's got a big athletic tight end. He's got uh, Keenan Allen, who is a route machine and just crazy speed with great hands. He's got Mike Williams that can go up and get it. 
Yeah. All right. You miss Mike Williams. You've done something. I mean, you got a valid point there. Um, I think he's going to be fine, to be honest. Whenever he gets the game, he might not get the go for another year. I mean, you got Tyrod Taylor. Like, they I, might I ride think... with Tyrod. They've said all along they're going to ride with Tyrod. They're not going to. They like Tyrod over Cam. They like Tyrod over Andy Dalton. They're not doing that. They're not playing that game. I do so I'm okay with that. with that. That's fine. I think he can be fine. All right. He's going to a team where he doesn't have to be the leader in the locker room because Nick Bosa and the defensive guys are the leader in the locker room. Yeah. Nick Bosa's a leader of that locker room. Melvin Ingram's a leader of that locker room. True. True. And they don't have to worry about the Melvin Gordon headache this year. That's always good. No, they don't have um, to worry about that. No. So. No, this is like, I, I will say this outside of the Herbert pick, which I'm just kind of like, okay, I get why you took him. Okay. I didn't like him that much, but it, you, at a position like that, you're going to have to take him high anyway. So you may as well, right? Especially when you have a need for a quarterback. Um, Outside of that, like I, I kind of like what they did. I, I didn't think it was that bad at all. I, I thought they got some good value here. I got. I thought they you, you, you put they they gave away assets to move up to get Kenneth Murray. I just okay. <laughs> you and I will disagree on Kenneth Murray. I, I think he's going to be a stud. I think he's okay. going to be good. Like I, I thought it was good at Oklahoma. Like no, the defense overall was not great, but I, he he flipped them around and he was the biggest playmaker on the field uh, for the majority of their games. Like, he was, at, at at whatever point he was on the field against the majority of the Big 12 schedule, he was the biggest playmaker. Now, obviously, a one-man defense cannot stop LSU's offense. Like, that's impossible. Um, but e- even, like, good defenses couldn't stop LSU's offense. So, it, that true. doesn't affect me. You don't have to stop LSU. I just wasn't impressed. Yeah. I didn't think he was anywhere close to the pedigree that you could have got from Queen. Yeah. And I think that's an honest assessment. Yeah, okay. I can understand that. I mean, I I, I totally get where you're coming from. I uh, I, I think he's not he Roquan will. Smith. No. He's, he's not Devin Bush. He's not Devin White. Linebackers from the past that went early in drafts that were great linebackers. He's not any of those guys. No, you're right. He's not moving up to get that guy. I'm just not. No, I, 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 I see where you're coming from. I totally understand it. Uh, I don't know that they should have moved up for him. But well, he wouldn't have been well. He probably he might have been there in the second round. Shit, I don't know. That, well, I, I don't I don't know that they had to move up or give up as much as they did to to be able to move into the first round to get him. I think he probably still would have been there multiple picks later. Yep. Um, but I don't know that he should have been. You know, that's just me. That's just me. I I kind of like what they did. I I thought it was a, a fairly decent draft. They took flyers on guys that I think are worth the. Uh, you know, we're taking a flyer on. So, yeah, other other than Justin Herbert, I, I thought it was a fairly good draft. And even then, I don't know what to make of Justin Herbert right now. So, unless, like, if you're going to sit him and build him. He's the only guy that I'm neutral on. And I think I think they took flyers, but all those other guys are reaches. They're all projects. They're all, you know, yeah, might okay. be something. Or at a position that they don't need. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. They're you, loaded you at right skill players. That. They don't need that. Well, let's go get two wide receivers. Okay. Yeah. Now that you, makes sense. Our offensive point. line sucks, but that makes sense. Yeah, they, they needed offensive line help badly. Badly. We don't have a running back on the roster that's over 200 pounds. Uh, let's go get another running back that doesn't weigh 200 pounds. That's 100% true. 100% true. Like, I just don't, like, I don't, I don't understand the picks they made because I think there were better players at all of those positions when they took the guys they took. That's the problem I have. At the quarterback position, I don't think there's a better quarterback. No, I agree and there. The problem is, is I don't know that they trade back. Here's the problem. They could have taken a badass left tackle right there. Oh, yeah. They yes. could have taken Warf. They could have taken Wills. They could have taken, you know, the best tackle in, in, in this draft at that pick. And and instead they took Herbert. Yeah, and they can punt, they can punt for quarterback next year. Yeah. Or Sign one of these other guys and take a shot at, at a at just a free agent quarterback. Yeah, I'll tell you this, as much as I shit on the guy, if there's one team that should make a trade for Aaron Rodgers, it's this team right here. Yeah, yeah. I going do. going into that new big stadium, whenever we open things up for fans and this and another coming in the next year, 2021 season, 
it'd be really nice to be stroking out Aaron Rodgers walking in that building mm-hmm. instead of the, the guys on the other side are walking in with Jared Goff. You've got a very, very, very valid point. He's a California. Everybody says where Tom's are going. No, 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 no. Tom didn't fit out there. Aaron Rodgers would absolutely fit out there. Yeah, yeah, I think he would. I think he would. That 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 is a hundred percent what they should be looking at trying to do. And now I don't know that they're going to now that they've got Herbert. But I mean, I I trade Justin Herbert for Aaron Rodgers in a heartbeat. So well, the thing that they're going to have to deal with is is Rodgers ain't going to get moved for two more years anyway. Just yeah. because his contract is the way it is, too much dead money would go to the Packers if they, even if they traded him. Yeah, but in two years, in two years, if you realize Herbert's not the guy, it'd be real nice. You can make that move. Dr- spending draft capital to make that move. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're dead on, dead on. 